Hey everyone, Nick from Nick's Crossing here. Welcome back to the train room, guys, for another scenery tutorial. In this video, guys, we'll be talking about and building these awesome Coastman's Tree Kits. And this is the variety pack exclusively sold at Iron Horse Trains of Hanover, Pennsylvania. And guys, these exact tree kits will be available at this week's York 2024 Fall Train Show in York, Pennsylvania. So guys, let's build these trees. But first, let's talk about how awesome they are and how easy they are to put together. So here we go, everyone. All aboard. Alrighty guys, I gotta be honest with you, scenery is not my strongest point. I'm getting better at doing certain things, but scenery is also all about experimentation and trial and error and really messing stuff up to learn how it's really supposed to go together, such as the last like three lakes I had on my <laughs> second layout. Total disaster zones. The lake leaked on the floor. There is, uh, you know, acrylic water everywhere, all over my models or whatever. It was, it was a disaster zone. So I've learned a lot over the couple years that I've been doing this um, up here in the studio. Also, um, you know, through trial and error. So it is what it is. And I'd say the biggest thing in this hobby that annoys a lot of people are trees, uh, foliage, and I've done tree kits before, and they are not fun. I'll be honest with you, tree kits suck the ones on the market are hard to put together they're all plasticky looking they don't give you enough stuff to put them together and they're also expensive and when you're done you're just like ah, i should have just bought the woodland pack of plastic trees and just dealt with it well guys things have changed and this brand coatsman's here have really made it fun to build trees i just said that can't you believe that it's fun to build these trees look at this these trees back here on my scene are all these Coastman's trees. And it's very easy to build. They give you everything in the kit that you need, minus some tools and glue. That's it. Um, this kit includes a variety packs. So you're getting larger trees. You're getting some smaller trees in there. You're getting some foliage, uh, all the greenery that you need. And these are just really relaxing to put together. And when they're done, guys, you're just like, man, I want more of these things. Like, look at this. I have two packs of variety up on this um, hillside. And that is two packs. So what's that? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 trees. Also have a dead tree in the woods that I built from leftover material. So you're definitely getting what you need in these kits minus glue. And I'm using a drill for this video. And um, like I said, it's enjoyable to build these. So I do plan on buying more of these at York. I currently have uh, another kit that's behind me. It's the um, smaller tree, I think 7-inch trees. Then these are the what close to 10 inch trees or whatever uh, it says 6 to 11 inches on there so you get a bunch of things now this does include instructions we're not just throwing you out there um, you are getting an instruction manual on the the packaging but I'm gonna do this my own way uh, to show you guys what I was doing to build these beautiful trees behind me now Cosmos also offers extra branch material which we have right here in this bag uh, I bought this just because um, they do sell um, their tree parts in separate bags. So you can buy the foliage material. You can also buy the trunk separate. Then also the sticks or um, foliage bundle separate as well. And in the kit, like I said, you get everything that you need. And on top of that, you also get two bags of uh, like scenic flock material. So once your trees are done, you can kind of... Uh, dress them up with some different colors like there's a lighter green and a darker green so it looks really good once you're done uh, also guys we'll be building these on this piece of uh, foam behind me just like this it's just construction foam um, right here uh, you can get this stuff at your local hobby shops or uh, construction warehouses out there and um, basically I'm using that because underneath each tree they give you a toothpick to basically hold the trunk to your layout so you can glue these in place, but right now I'm just sticking them in the uh, the scenery foam with the toothpick that they give you, and I glue that in the bottom of the tree. Now there is a pre-drilled hole. You just insert that toothpick, and you're good to go. All right, guys, so before we get into this, let's pull out the tools that we'll need. So first we have our sprung cutters there. These are really nice precision cutters. Actually given to me by a viewer, so thank you so much. These have been amazing up here in the studio. We also have our glue. We're using a uh, Instacure. This is like a medium viscosity glue. And then also we have our power drill right here using a Works cordless 20 volt. And on top of that, 
we're also going to need our kit. So here we go. So our kit is the variety pack. Now these at the time were being sold for 25 bucks, but these at the show, according to Troy, should be right around or under 30 bucks. Uh, so they have gone up just a little bit. So let's get into this kit. Let's move this stuff out. It does get a little messy. So I do recommend working on a nice stable surface, um, comfortable surface, and something you can easily vacuum up so you don't make a mess up here. Uh, these are also made in the United States. So look at that. US of A right there. Awesome. So let's rip this open. Let's get in here. Now first, pull out your stems. That These are your trunks. So these are actual wooden trunks that have been made for the kit. We also have our flock material right here. And other stuff is just kind of thrown in here. Um, really quick, these are the bags that you get for extra detail. So you get a light green. You also get a... Um, a darker olive green color. It's kind of nice. Put them up here in the corner. And then also, here's the flock material that we'll be using. You do get these nails. I think in the instruction it does say to like use these nails to put holes in the tree. So you can do that if you're not comfortable using a power tool or power drill. You can also probably use a Dremel tool to drill the holes in this tree. But for now, we're just going to put these up there. They give you lots of these pins. These are the toothpicks that you'll be using for the trunks to hold them in place. So we'll put them up here too. Here's another pin. Put that up there. And I think one kit that I had was missing a toothpick for one of the tree trunks. So I ended up using one of those pins. You can also use track pins to uh, hold your tree down. Here's the messy part. It's just the other instruction manual. And then there's just some greenery and stuff in the bag. There we go. Got some in the corner. And this stuff, guys, I'd recommend using one of these, um, what's it, the uh, Woodland Scenics vacuums right here, which will do, and suck all this green stuff up and use it as flocking material for your layout so you're not wasting any uh, scenery goodness here. There we go. Here are the trunks. Like I said, these are made of real wood, and at the bottom, there are holes drilled for the toothpick. So first, we're gonna build two types of trees here. We're gonna go with the largest tree. This is 11 inch tree, right here out of the box. And then we'll build the smallest tree. This one's pretty pretty tiny. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll work with, we'll build this one. A little bit larger. So put these trunks off to the side. And inside of this green mat right here, move all that over. There's all the good stuff. Now I would recommend to Coastman's if you could package the branches like this branch material that we'll be using separately from this green uh, matting that we'll be using as well because stuff kind of gets lost. But as you can see there's all our branch material and you guys are probably looking at me like you're crazy. No, this is actually the stuff you'll be using to build your trees. So we're going to set that up here, dump that out and as you can see, we've got this nice smooth surface here, easily cleaned and everything. Now, when I first got this kit, I was looking at this and like, there's no way I can make this many trees with it with what they gave me. So what you're gonna do is actually find the seam in this green material and rip this in half. And this is what makes a mess too. A lot of dust coming off at the bottom. Now you have two sheets to build your trees. All right guys, so the first tree we're gonna build is this 11 inch tree in the kit. So they say they give you seven to 11 inch trees and this kit came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trees in this kit. So this is the top of the tree right here. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, the first thing I like to do before we start anything is pick through our branch material. Make sure we can find some hefty branches. This is a larger tree, you know, we need larger material. So picked out some off camera right here. Got this one here. So we'll see what we can do with these. Now next you're going to take your drill with a small drill bit. Not sure what size drill bit this is, but what we're going to do is this. We're going to go kind of up the tree a little bit. You know how pine trees or evergreens are. They don't always grow through, especially fir trees. So go right about here. And we're going to slowly drill this through. Clear the hole. 
And then what I like to do is drill another hole just right above or below. We'll go below on this one. All right, so now we have four holes drilled in our tree trunk here. Next, we're gonna take this branch material. We can actually use our snips to cut these. And this is the cool part. We're gonna use uh, snips, let's cut this here. And we'll leave that one up here. So this piece is too thick to go through the trunk with our holes cut. So we're gonna actually take our snips here and make a beveled edge cut it down just a little bit so it'll fit inside of the holes in our tree that we just cut. We're going to use our super glue material and coat that lightly because we don't want to have gluey fingers with super glue. That's like the worst ever. All right, so then we're going to put this in one of the holes in our trunk we just cut. And do not shove it all the way through because we still have to put another branch in on the other side of that. So right there, we have a nice branch coming out. Next we have this crazy looking branch here. I want the tree to be faced this way so I'm going to cut this side, bevel the edge a little bit. And all this stuff I'm cutting off I like to keep if I can because it's really cool like foliage material. You know dead stuff, dead tree material, all that. Coat this in glue again and put this in one of the holes in our tree. Whoops. That should glue itself back. I know I just bent that. That will happen with this kit. Add a little bit of super glue, it should be fine. Next is the other side. Wash, rinse, repeat. Cut this like that. Now you can use hot glue for this, but I got kind of fed up with making a gluey mess with that as well. So this has been the best method thus far. All right, there we go. And what you have to do is actually kind of face. It's, it's like in landscaping when you face plants, meaning like you want your best side to be facing out and things like that. So with these trees, you also have to kind of face them. So whatever you want sticking out or whatever you want um, geometry-wise to be facing you, you just have to play around with that, make it look like a real tree. There we go. And then here's our last branch for this one. I like to do four so I don't run out of uh, branch material, but you can always do more, more than four. All right. And you can kind of force these in and the glue should hold it. So right there we have four branches sticking out of our tree base. And this is the cool part. So let's move the glue out of the way. This is when you don't need any glue at all. You're just gonna use gravity and um, take your green material. I like ripping this down. And this stuff is actually it reminds me of like a Brillo pad material. And if you get these smaller pieces, hold on to these. You're going to need those later. You're going to need this piece later too. But you want a nice round piece. So I like to make some of these smaller ones, which you guys will see later what they're for. But... We're going to also break apart the edges to sort of round this out. And there we go, make another small one. So like right here. We're then going to put this all the way down the trunk, just force that down through the trunk. And now you get your first layer of tree. Now as you can see, this is too small for what we're doing. So the cool thing is with this kit, you can actually take these off. We're going to make another one of these branches by using more material, probably like this whole section right here. Fluff it out, make it look good. Force this down the tree. And now we're talking. It's a little bit bigger. There you go. Got your first branch in there. And all you're doing is just pushing this material down over the trunk. Now the section that I messed up we can actually hold on to this for the next layer. But what I like to do too is actually take the uh, smaller pieces like this and actually force this down before the next layer to add more depth if you're looking through the tree. I know it's hard for you guys to see because you're looking 
out of 45 on the tree right now. But this little bit of material really fills in the gap so you can't look through the tree. It almost reminds me of like the 90s, they had those artificial trees that were huge. And before you put any ornaments on them uh, for Christmas time, you could see right, right through the tree. So you don't want that. You want this to be nice and full and look like a natural tree. So we're now ready to go on to our second and third layer before we start adding material up the tree. So we're going to drill this out and I'm going to speed this through. All right. And honestly, guys, I could probably build these trees, um, maybe make 10 of them or so an hour, if not more. Uh, they're just really, really cool to do. Here we go. Here's our branch. We're going to glue that. And there we go. So there's one. And let's find another hefty branch here. That's a good one. That's cool. I like that. Right there, I got branches going all over the place. We're going to cut this. Very cool. And then we'll just do one more branch for this one. I don't want to go too crazy. I still have a lot more trees in this kit to build. Um, you don't have to use all the branches, but if you want to do this method, you're going to use a lot of them. So just remember that. All right. Good amount of glue right there. And we'll go through this side here. All right, now we have our second layer of branches on there, kind of going all over the place. Now we're going to use this piece right here that we used before that I messed up. And we're just going to tear it, fluff it out, make it look good. And we could actually add more fluff material in between, but we're going to do that as we go up the tree. And then you can actually add one of these right here to fill in. And as you work with this, you'll see like little errors and stuff to fluff out, especially down here at the bottom. You'll see stuff to fix as you're working on it. But the best thing is you can swivel this around because um, the toothpick's in the foam. So it makes it really nice and easy to work with. Now the next piece, we're going to drill one more set of holes. Now here's a method that I do when I run out of material, just to kind of uh, speed things up as well. You have just enough material to drill a hole through. And we're going to find a smaller branch. So something that we know that can go through both sides. We're going to put a little bit of glue on the center of the branch, just like right there. We're going to carefully fish this through the tree until we get to that glue spot. And there we go. Now that will hold one of these pieces of scenery material. So let's get that ready. Well, oh, one's a little small. And the good thing is when you mess up one of these pads, hold the material because you'll need it for other trees and such. There we go. And then going up to the top of the tree, you do not have to drill any holes. What you're going to do is just take the, the flock material and just start putting it down. And we need one little tiny piece. Oh, there's one right here. All right, guys, so there you go. There's one 11 inch tree built through this way. And there you go. There is one 11 inch tree ready to rock and roll. And you can sit there and mess with these a little bit, fanning them out and such. Kind of wish I had more in the middle right here. But if you look at that at a distance, if I put this up here, you know, 
it looks really, really awesome. I just love the way these look kind of rough, like a pine tree. So there's the 11 inch tree. Now the small trees, this is the cool part, right? If we take one of our smaller trees, let's go with the smallest tree. I think it's, yeah, this one right here. We're gonna still take our uh, toothpick. We're gonna glue that in place. And all, like I said, all of these trunks have holes drilled in them. Uh, and they're not perfect. Sometimes you get an angle like that, it's angled. But you can kind of level it out when you insert them in the layout or glue them down. So the cool thing is about this one is that I don't need to drill branches in this tree. Uh, what we're going to do is actually just take the branch material or the flock material. We're going to fan it out and watch this. Now for these, sometimes I will glue them. For argument's sake, we'll just put a dab of uh, super glue right there on the tree so that these can't fly all over the place. Take another piece. Make sure these are fanned out and everything. And we'll add a intermediate piece right there. And you just keep on adding this material going up the tree. So it's very, very basic, basic concept here. And we're getting up to the top to use one of these. And just showing you guys a speed run on how quick it is to build one of these. And there you go. There's a tiny little tree right there, ready to bear. And that's how easy these kits, guys, are, are to make. I mean, that is super fast. You have a decent looking tree. These look great, like I said, in mountain scenes and such. But as you can see, we have the largest tree in the back. We have the smallest tree in the kit up front here they look phenomenal now guys any extra material you have left over like these larger branches and such I've actually used in my own scenes on the layout to uh, incorporate them like fallen trees and such and then all of this extra green material you can actually use this on your trees by just sprinkling them on so for instance let's say you want more depth with the smaller tree put this right here you can actually sprinkle this green material on to give it a little bit more depth in material. You can use a spray glue for that. Sometimes I just sprinkle stuff on like that. Um, that's really cool then as well. And like I mentioned earlier, you do get these two bags of different color green material, which I've used a little bit, but not a whole lot. I just hold on to them or add them to a scenic flock um, shaker that I had laying around. Alrighty everyone, so hopefully you enjoyed this scenery tutorial featuring these beautiful Coastman's trees. And guys, if you're interested in buying these trees at the York Train Show, they'll be located in the Orange Hall at the Iron Horse Trains booth. Make sure uh, tell them I sent you there, and uh, they've got lots of other scenery stuff planned for the York Show as well. But anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this scenery tutorial. If you're new to the channel, always consider subscribing. Make sure to leave a comment and a like below. Till next time everyone, happy railroading. We'll see you next time. See you guys.